Jan Ozer here. In this video, I'm going to show the difference between video delivered via progressive download and video delivered via streaming. So we've got three windows open here. This is a browser, the Firefox browser. This is a streaming media capture tool called Jaxta. And then this is the uh, file location where Jaxta is going to store the captured files. So we have two alternatives here. One is Vimeo, which does not use a streaming server. And the other is Bloomberg, which does use a streaming server. So I'm going to click on a video. This is about an eight and a half minute video from uh, Streaming Media East 2011. And I'm going to click on the video to play. And we see it's detected here in Jaxta and it's downloading via HTTP. So most progressive download delivery is via HTTP, which means it's delivered via a typical web server and not via a streaming server like you would see with um, with the Adobe Flash Media Server, or now the Adobe Media Server, or with the Wowza Media Server. So because it's delivered via HTTP, it's delivered just like any other piece of content on the site, whether it's a large, you know, a large PDF file, or an audio file, or a large graphics file. Basically, the web server says, hey, somebody clicked on this, and I'm going to deliver it as quickly as possible. And there's no tie in the delivery speed to the actual video that's being played. So here we see we're 42 seconds into the video. As I said, it's about an eight and a half minute video and even though we're only at 48 seconds in the video playback we're already at right now hundred percent of delivery so we can see the 52 megabyte file is delivered here if the viewer stops one minute into the file um, Vimeo has already paid for all of this content to be delivered. And, and that's one of the big risks of uh, video delivered via progressive download is that you're, there's a lot of wasted bandwidth. And if you're paying for bandwidth, that's pretty significant. I mean, basically, here I watched a minute of video. That's roughly, you know, it's a little bit more than 10%, but let's just say it's 10%. Basically, I should have delivered 10% uh, of this, or about 5 megabytes. Instead, because I delivered via progressive download, I delivered um, 52 megabytes, and I'm paying for all of that. So here's the alternative. The alternative is shown via Bloomberg. And let's just pick, a, you know, Red Aid's Roots, and we'll see some short advertisements come up and be captured. And then we see the main video. And, okay, so this is the main video here doing some ne negotiation between the server and the player. And then in a moment, okay, let's try a different video. Not quite sure why that didn't work. Let's cancel this one. Okay, and here's the video being downloaded via RTMP. And what we see is we see a bunch downloaded. So we see about 10 seconds downloaded and then a stop, and then another chunk downloaded, and then a stop. So we are 22 seconds into this video, and we've downloaded 23 seconds worth of video, which is sufficient for the viewer to keep watching it. Once that video gets consumed by the player, the, um, the playback starts again, but only to the extent necessary to fill the buffer, so the viewer won't run out of the video that, it, uh, that they're watching. And if I stop the video here, Obviously, at this point, the playback here would stop as well. So overall, the benefit of using a, a streaming server here or some kind of technology that throttles the outbound delivery of, um, of the video to match what's being viewed, so there's no wasted bandwidth. And also, because you're metering the video out, you can serve more users at a higher level because you can, you know, you're doling out as needed as opposed to sending it out as quickly as possible, which will result in, in some people not getting the video that they need when they need to view it. Okay, so that's just a short video showing the difference between video delivered via progressive download via HTTP and video delivered via RTMP streaming. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.